Okay. Let me go back over here. These are some router cables. I got this one on a, another closeout table. It's missing a couple of parts, but I mean, it's got all the stuff. It's got the fence, the table, and had the legs. And then, uh, like I said, I have no shortage of routers, so it's got a router in there. I got all the attachments that came with it there. This is another table I bought. Or actually, this one was given to me. A guy gave me that uh, Black & Decker uh, router in this table. This is my compound miter saw setup. Um, this is a Champion. I got it from Sears, real cheap. And a Harbor Freight uh, stand, but it works pretty good. Most of these tools I have set out, they're set out where I can use them. I can't cut any really long pieces, but I can cut shorter pieces. This is the uh, first bench grinder I had. It actually belonged to my dad. And then uh, I bought this one, uh, 1980 probably, early 1980. It's a jet. And then I just, I was limited space when I did it, so I just put an arm under there so they would both hang off the same stand. I filled it up full of concrete to make it heavier. This right here is a base off of an old chair, and I added some pipe to it and made a... Uh, it's a hose and cord tree. I hang all my extension cords and all my hoses on there. This is my milling machine. This is an old Kearney and Trekker from uh, World War II. Uh, I got this about oh, 14 years ago, I guess. Maybe 15 years ago. It was sitting out back behind in a wrecking yard. I mean, just rusting away. It was, I mean, just ru rusted really bad. But it's a pretty good old machine. And it's like almost all of these, the handles are broke off of them. I've seen, I think, three of them on YouTube, and all of them have the handles broke off, so it must be common. It's actually a horizontal mill. It's got a, a vertical adapter on it. It comes off, swings off to the side on that arm. So, no quill in it it mills really good really cheap uh, uh, milling machine uh, vice there I paid $79 for that I think years ago I got a kick of the uh, uh, freight was like 50 bucks <laughs> I gotta show you back here this is my homemade uh, three-phase converter I got an idea from somebody off the internet and uh, so I I had to change the way it worked though because uh, the way that he had his wires wouldn't work for mine it's better to use a build a rotary phase converter you know out of an old uh, three-phase motor but that's what I had so that's what I used this is one of these Harbor Freight band saws I don't know who I I probably got this one from Enco I think I've had it for probably uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 years. Pretty good. The, the bases on these are really flimsy, so I had some scrap metal. So I bent up uh, some metal to go in there, and then I put it on a square tube base. I used the original wheels. I just moved them down. And then this is my uh, power hacksaw. I built that a long time ago before I had the bandsaw. This is a DeWalt multi-cutter. It's a 14 inch carbide tooth blade. Really nice saw. They're kind of expensive. I got this one was a, a factory reconditioned. But uh, with a brand new blade, it'll uh, cut through a piece of half by six hot rolled in just over 15 seconds, I believe. Really good saw. And what's nice about it too is it cuts through the metal and it doesn't get real hot like they do with these abrasive saws. This is another one from that Chuck Holmeyer guy, Speedway Series. Uh, they, uh, these are really cheap. I mean, they work okay. They're not as good as, uh, uh, 
they're not as good as one that you would pay uh, 150 bucks for, you know. These only cost like 50 bucks. I got a bead and flange roller there. Normally I keep it in that vise when I use it, but I'm going to power drive it. I got this stuff to make a power drive. This is my toolbox. I don't know what they used to keep in here. File cards, I guess. But it makes a pretty good toolbox. No shortage of drill bits. End meals and stuff. Cap and dies. Old Greenfield set. <coughs> I paid 15 bucks for that, I think. Or 20 for that, I think. Oh, and then I got this for 15. That's all taps in there. I got them all sorted out in bags. Like size. little miniature dies and taps. There's taps in the handle. <coughs> More drill bits, hole saws. <coughs> this is my lathe. <coughs> I got this in 1994. Early or is uh yeah probably ninety four late or early ninety five 